It's the show that teaches you Japanese while traveling around Japan. Meet and speak. This time, our three roving travelers continue on with their journey through Nagano Prefecture. An encounter with a samurai. Nagano Prefecture has a rich natural environment surrounded by soaring mountains. It attracts tourists all year round. In summer, it offers solace from the oppressive urban heat. In winter, it's a skier's paradise. It's famous for its wide range of delicious fruits and vegetables, not to mention buckwheat noodles. Our threesome have arrived in Azumino, a picturesque city about an hour by train from Nagano City. With its many mountains and rivers, Azumino is full of scenic beauty. Their first destination is a huge wasabi farm. It, oh, it's so fresh. Yeah, it is. Wow. The water is really beautiful here. Yeah. yeah. It's so clear, you can see all the stones. <laughs> Their increasing knowledge of Japanese goes a long way in helping them communicate with local residents. Clear water is essential for cultivating wasabi, or Japanese horseradish. The abundance of pure meltwater from Nagano's mountains makes Azumino perfect for wasabi growing. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a butterfly. But it's cool how they have a have someone sing to us. <laughs> Gondola. <laughs> you could do that in your garden, maybe. Yeah. Wasabi. Our reporters head straight to a stall to sample some of the freshly harvested wasabi. This is the wasabi root that is used as a condiment in sushi and sashimi. When grated, it provides a zesty flavor and aroma to various dishes. The word Amy used just now, demo, means but. Let's take another look at the scene. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I always say that when I go to a sushi bar. Oh, I eat uh, <laughs> yesterday. We'll be like, what? An unusual combination, wasabi and soft cream. But it's delicious. The zesty flavor bursts in your mouth. <laughs> Next, our threesome head to a store that sells another local specialty, oyaki. Oyaki are dumplings made of wheat and buckwheat that are stuffed with local vegetables and fried. This store offers hands-on experience at oyaki making. Bookings are required. Yeah, I love making desserts. So. Oh, difficult. What in Japanese? You can say "muzukashi." Muzukashi. Muzukashi to after kneading the dough, you divide it up into 12 and form each piece into a ball. They have trouble wrapping the filling, but they finally get it right. The oyaki are ready to be fried using a hot plate. We did wow, it! <laughs> that's so nice. All right, we should try. We did it. Yeah, we, we made it. <laughs> All right, it smells good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I love this one. <laughs> oh, we all got different ones. Mmm. Mm, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Eating freshly made oyaki in the outdoors. It sure is delicious. Now to study hiragana and pronunciation. Today we're going to practice the syllables in the la line. The syllables are written with an R on Japanese signs, but the pronunciation is closer to L. Try pronouncing the syllables with whale san. La, la, li, li, lu, lu, de, 
レロロ From Azumino, the three head to Matsumoto City. Another 15 minute walk from Matsumoto Station, and they reach their next destination. Gorgeous. Wow. What is that? This is Oshiro. Oshiro means castle in Japanese. Oh, Oshiro. Like many years ago, Samurai used to live there. Samurai! <laughs> Matsumoto Castle. Built over 400 years ago, it's a famous castle that's been recognized as a national treasure. A figure from the past, dressed in full armor and brandishing a sword. Who is this samurai? He's actually one of a number of people hired by the Matsumoto city government to entertain visitors to the castle by dressing up as feudal samurai. Can we take a picture together with him? Yeah, sure. You should ask him in Japanese. Photo wa nihongo de nan te imasu ka? Photo wa shoshin desu. Shoshin desu ne. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Learn the phrase Yoroshiku onegaishimas. Onegaishimas is commonly used when asking someone for a favor. For example, Ueo san, screen o onegaishimas. Hi. In this series, a sentence is used to convey a single thought or action. To convey the action of doing something, you add the particle o to a noun to denote the object something. When you want to ask someone to take a photo, you can do so by adding i desu ka, which is the phrase used to ask permission to the noun shashin. Shashin i desu ka? Simple, isn't it? Let's try! Shashin i desu ka? Shashin i desu ka? Poor Cedric. But he's captured the girls with a great smile on their faces. Time to learn some more numbers. Today, the months of the year. In Japanese, we simply add gatsu to the number of the month. For example, January is ichigatsu. April, July, and September are shigatsu, shichigatsu, and kugatsu. What's June in Japanese? Rokugatsu. How about July? Shichigatsu. And December? Juunigatsu. Well done! And now let's review today's lesson. But is demo in Japanese. Let's take another look at the scene. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We also learned the expression i desu ka, which is used to ask permission. We had a lot of fun meeting many people. This Sakura no ki. Sakura no ki? Yeah, cherry blossom. Oh, cherry blossoms. They are supposed to bloom in April, Shigatsu. Mm -hmm. But now it's already June, so it's finished. I see. Where will our trip take us next? Don't forget to visit the Meet and Speak website for additional content.